Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Master the Elements. This is a game for two to six players, it's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is 30 minutes. This is an abstract game that involves four different elements. Each player is going to be dealt a secret element type at the beginning of the game, and your goal is to get as many element tokens of your type onto your element space. If you can do that and get a lot of tokens on there, then you get a lot of points. Pretty simple, right? Let's find out. Let's light the fires and ride the waves because we're going to check out Master the Elements. Okay, so here's a look at all the components in the game. There is a central playing board. There's four elements, earth, fire, water, and air. There are double-sided element tokens. Sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're not. You've got ten of these Master the Element cards and one is going to be dealt to each player at the beginning of every round. That is their secret element card. The idea behind that is, let's say if someone has Earth, they're going to try and get as many tokens onto the Earth space as possible. At the end of the round, you get one point per token that matches your element. You've got a score pad here, and the game is played over four rounds. You've also got this um, double-sided rule sheet. Pretty simple stuff there. The box, I'm going to get this out of the way right now. It's warped or something, but it's not a, it's not a good fit at all. Um, I don't know if the box insert is too big or what. There's nothing in here besides the box insert. There's no other components, and yet it doesn't completely... The, the lid does not come all the way down. So there's an issue there with production, which is kind of silly, but it is what it is. And here's a look at the box insert. Okay. So to set up the game, you're going to put this in the center of the table. You're going to just take all the tokens and just sort of mix them up. Um, whatever side they land on is fine. That way you've got a randomized um, loadout of elements. You're going to shuffle this deck of cards up and deal one to each player. Now, here's the problem that I have with that. There's actually two problems, but I'll get into the first one first. So, um, a lot of these, eight of them, have just a single element listed. You've got water, you've got fire, you've got air, and so on. Two of these cards list two elements. You've got fire and water. This one lists air and earth. If you are dealt this card, for example, at the end of the round, you choose which element you want to score on. So, from a balanced perspective, if I am dealt one of these cards twice out of the four rounds in a typical game, and someone else gets a single one the entire time, that is, I think, unbalanced. That, that I would have the advantage, clearly. So, why these were even created to be included in the game is beyond me. I would not use them at all, just for balance purposes. In addition to that, there's nothing in the rulebook that addresses the two-player issue. In a two-player game, let's say that you decide to take these out, okay? You're left with two singles of each element type. You've got two rock, or two earth, two water, two fire, two air. What if, secretly, she's dealt water and I'm dealt water? The game is a wash. We're both shooting for the same thing. We're both going to score the same amount of points. Now, I can see in a three- or four-player game, some people might double up on elements, but in a two-player game, it's just that's a waste of five or ten minutes. Just go, I mean, we're going to have either five points, six points, whatever. Um, you get five bonus points for being the last player to place the last token. So, yeah, the, the points are either going to be, I'm up by five points, or your opponent is up by five points. You know, it just, to me, that doesn't, that doesn't sit right with me. I, if, if, if a two-player game... My house rule is take one of each type out and get rid of the rest. Get rid of the double elements, get rid of the duplicates elements, just take the four cards, the four elements, shuffle them up, each person gets one, that way they're guaranteed not to duplicate and that way there's no imbalancing going on with being able to choose two at the end of the round. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix these up real quick, she gets one, I get one. Okay. On a typical turn, what you're going to do is um, you can either stack or steal, okay? To stack, um, there's three things involved with stacking. You can take an element from the table, place it on the matching element type on the board. That's one thing. Another thing you can do is you can take the same thing, this fire, stack it on top of an existing similar element. So now I've got two. Um, another thing you can do, let's say I've got this fire here, and you can have multiple stacks, by the way, on one space. So I can take this existing stack and stack it on top of that. That is stacking. That's it. Stealing, on the other hand, I will tell you right now, and I'll be honest, this section of the rulebook made my eyes glaze over. 
I watched the how to play video that they created, the developers created like four or five times. It is unnecessarily complicated and I, I had to run through the examples that they gave to try and understand how stealing worked. Essentially, um, what you can do is you can move tokens around um, by forming a stack that matches the height of another stack. So for example, let's say that, um, let's say that my secret element is air. I don't know if it really is, but I haven't looked at my card yet. But let's say I wanted to move this water over to the air. Um, I can take an air token from the table and I can place it on top of this stack of water. There's two water tokens here. Okay, so I can put a third one on top like that and move it over like that. And the only reason I can do that is because there's already a pile on the board that is already three high. There has to be an existing stack on the board of that same height. So just to show you another example, let's say that this was, um, let's just do something like that. That's four high. Um, there's two water here. Another thing I could do, I've got two water, two air, and four fire. I can also steal by taking an existing stack. Let's say I want to um, move this air over to the water because maybe I have water instead of air. Um, I can take these two, stack it on top of this existing two, and because the height is four, which is the same as this fire, I could then move it over like so. The, it doesn't matter what you have underneath, there could be air tokens, fire tokens, what have you. The top token is the defining element of that stack, okay? Now there are wilds, that's what these um, master element tokens do. And essentially what they do is you can put them on top of a stack and you can say, I want that to be earth and just move it over. There doesn't seem to be any height restrictions in the manual, so you don't have to compare heights or anything like that. That's earth, move the entire stack over, you're done. Likewise, you can say, I want this to be air. Whenever you stack um, a regular element on top of a wild like this, it, the entire stack moves with it. So part of me doesn't understand the strategies behind that. I mean, what's the point of moving it and then for, for your opponent just to turn around and move it somewhere else where they wanted it originally? Maybe there's some strategy in what's left on the table to do that with. But other than that, like I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around the stealing and I'm having trouble wrapping my head around the strategy of this game. Keep in mind, I have over 500 games in my collection. I play complicated games like Twilight Struggle. I play um, all sorts of games at Tapestry. So I'm familiar with tough to play games. Uh, Santorini is a great abstract game. Love that. But this game, is just, it's, it's hard for me to follow. I don't know if it's just me or what. But anyway, so that's the gist of it. We're just gonna be taking turns, taking these tokens, trying to get them into our secret element color, and we're gonna score points for every token that we have of our element. And we get five extra points if we're the last person to place a token. So, Idalee, would you like to go first? All right, so she's gonna put an Earth token there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually zoom the camera in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on here. Okay, so let me take a look at my card and that's what that is. Okay, so I will put a water one there and she's gonna put an air one down. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna put a water on top of that water, I'm gonna stack that. And now she's gonna put fire down, okay? <laughs> I'm not sure what strategy she's going for here. Maybe she's just trying to confuse me, which is a possibility. Um, what I may want to do is um, let's... I'm going to... I'm going to stack a fire on top of that fire. All right, so what... Why? Two... It's two, can I do that or not? No, there's not a four high stack on the table. Oh, that's if you right. were If you right. were to I steal, you have to have an existing four high stack. Okay, so could I do this then and then bring it over? Yes, you can. Because, so what she did, let's take that back so that people can yeah. see. So she took a fire token from here, put it on top of the earth, and moved it over to fire because it's there's already a two high stack, right? Um, so I guess that would do that. Or oh, I thought it would go on top. I guess it would. 
Um, I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah, you can. Sure. Why not? Again, the stealing, we're still wrapping our heads around. This is our second game that we've played. This is so... All right, so there's a four high fire stack here, two high water there, one high air there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place an air there, I suppose. And you're going to put an earth there. <laughs> I'm going to steal this water with my air. Mm -hmm. And this is four high, four high. So now I've got a four high stack of air there. All right, so there's another water. Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to take a master token, and I'm going to assign this as... But there's no too high. It doesn't matter. With the master oh, tokens, right. you, with right. the master tokens, you pick any tile. There's no height restriction, and then you assign whatever element you want. In this case, I'm going to make it earth. That's right. All right. So you're putting an air there. Mm -hmm. Um. I will put. Hmm. I'm going to place an earth on top of that. Another air pile. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Um, okay. I guess. Wow. Okay, so that is four high. I'm going to assign this fire as water. I'm going to assign this as fire. As fire. Holy cow. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Um, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, that's one, two, three, four, five, um, I'm going to reassign that as air. Whenever you put a token on top of a master token, it becomes a new thing, yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to do the number? According to this, no. Okay. Example, stack a fire token from the table onto a pile in the air section of the game board that has the master element token on top, making a pile of fire tokens. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you're making a too high air uh, air one there? Yeah, I'm assuming you have air. I don't know what I have. So I'm trying to waste my air tokens. Makes sense. Um, I will take this air. Oh, that's two. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to sign this as fire. I'm going to steal. Can I do that? Um, it's too high? Is there a four high some? Well, that's a good question. 
so do I have to put one first and then? No, you can you can steal by taking an existing stack, and you can oh. you can put two stacks together. Um, oh, but it's not four high. So correct. I can't do that. Okay. So yeah. Um, like this is a two high. This is a two high. There's no four highs anywhere. Yeah. You and those air tokens. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to... Um, like I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Alright, so... This is one, two, three, four, five high, right? Mm -hmm. So... And this is... So, can I do this? I mean, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 high, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But even if it wasn't 6, you can still put it anywhere because it has an element. You don't need the number, right? Yeah, but I didn't take it from the table, though. Like, um, whenever you're stealing, it says I can... Um, when it comes to the master element token, um, you would place something on top of it. So, but I, I, can't, I can't take a tile from here, or a token from here, and, like, I can't do this and assign it. But didn't you do that with this? No, I took that from there. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Oh, interesting. I think. Um, again... I don't see the difference, though. Like, what... what? One, the difference is I'm taking from here instead of from there. Yeah, but what's the difference, though? I don't understand. Ask what, the what? developers. Uh, developers. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, I'm going to steal the stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to bring it over. Nice. So you're taking a master element token from the table. Actually, wait, wait, I don't want to do that. Hold on, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. What if... Well, they, those are both six, right? I believe so. So can I just stack like that? Yeah, you can stack. Mm -hmm. So that's seven. Um, I will... Um... I'm not exactly sure what I should do at this point. There's two, there's three. Um, I'm going to assign this as water. Um. Do that. Is that six high? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then move it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I that's fine. <laughs> At this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Cause yeah, because you're stacking. Cause with the wild, right. you can move it. Right. Well, not only that, but you made you're stacking a pile onto an existing pile of another height of this. Yeah, so you're fine. Um. So just assign this is air. And that's how much? Seven high? It doesn't matter. I, I This is a master token. Yeah, yeah, but that's seven though, right? I believe so. So could I do this then? And then stack on top of it? Mm, no? It would have to be air still. No, no, I don't think you can do that. No, because oh, you're not okay. stealing in that case. It's, it's that stacking. Yeah. When you're stacking on the same element. This is considered air. Okay. Um, so I'm probably going to lose anyways. Cause because when you, you have the last one. Right, I have All the last one. All of it is going to be on air. <laughs> right. Unless you stack. How am I... Well... Like, you can take an existing stack, I guess, and place it on a, another stack and... and Why? Well, but no, I can't because it's two. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Um, whenever you stack... You oh, can, I see. 
So you can, for example, take a stack of yeah. two earth tokens on a pile of three earth tokens. So you could do that. Fine. And then I could do, like, I could do... That. That. I could stack those. Um... <laughs> so I could do... This. You could stack that. <laughs> so I lose, right? Why? Well, can I, can I make this as a single? Well, no, because now I, I can't do anything. Like, if I say I want this to be fire... I, I want this to be air, for example. Yeah. Now you have the last token. You're going to move this wherever you want, yeah. and you get all the points, right? Unless... You've, there's only one token left. Yeah. All right. I'm done. She won. <laughs> she, fire. She, had, she was going to... Yeah, done. All right, we're done. And there you have it. Master the Elements. It goes without saying that neither of us really enjoyed this game. Um, I'll let you go first. Developers, it says easy to learn, hard to master. It should say a little bit confusing to learn and a challenge to master. This was rage table worthy. Like I wanted to flip the table many times. Um, the quality is impeccable. I, I love the tokens. I love the board. It's simple to read. The art is charming, but I... I didn't like the game. I'm sorry. It was like checkers. It was like a messed up form of checkers. And I am a fan of Captain America. I wanted something great with elements. I'm so upset that this is what came out. I don't like it. I really don't like it. She doesn't like it. So, I will echo what she said. The component quality is good, save for the box issue with the lid either being too small or what, I don't know like what the deal is with this, but yeah, the lid is actually has a, smaller. it's small, the lid is smaller height wise than the base. There are some boxes that, that do that because I don't, they, they want you to know that there's a, another box on the bottom. I don't like but, that. Yeah. I, I just, no, cover it, cover completely. <laughs> Um, so the, like the card art, like fantastic. Like it, the, the card stock is really good. I like that they're like, I don't know if it's laminated. laminated. Yeah, they are laminated. So I like that. But the gameplay, I think there needed to be a lot more play testing. There needed to be more, uh, groups testing this game out because again, with the, with the way the element cards are, there's two of them that have this dual element on them. And if this comes up multiple times for the same player in one game, they're going to have an advantage. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a complete balance issue that needs to be addressed. Um, my advice for anyone picking this game up, get rid of them. Just get rid of these. Mm -hmm. And in a two-player game, again, you've got two of the same element in the deck, so take out all the duplicates and just have four cards, and that way everyone has a different element. Um, that to me, and, and there's nothing in the rule book. This is something that I came up with to combat terrible game design. I would have liked it if it was like a blind look, like a bag, and then you'd have to actually pick out the tokens. It would be very abstract and, then, but... Yeah, but, I mean, the stacking was okay if it was explained a little bit better. Yeah, I, um, I went through the rule book several times, the how to play video, the how to play video that developers made, is two minutes long and one minute one minute of it is like fluff. Mm -hmm. So like it didn't really explain anything. And the examples that were provided made me scratch my head. Um, I just there needed to be more explanation as to how the stacking worked. Um, the stacking I was fine with. The stealing was very confusing. Mm -hmm. Again, I have over 500 games behind me. I've played a ton of games that are three hours long. A big fan of Power Grid. Um, Airlines, Europe, uh, Twilight Struggle, all of these games will make your brain hurt. This game made my brain hurt, and it's family fun, and it's easy to, what is it? Easy to learn. Easy to learn. A challenging to master. It's not easy to learn. The stealing hurt my head. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I've played a lot of games. This did not make sense to me. The whole... Uh, the element cards does not make sense to me. I see where they're trying to go with this game, 
but it just wasn't completely thought out. Um, if you want something similar to this, there's a game called Seven Dragons, where there's a hidden color, everyone gets a hidden color, they're trying to lay out dragons of a color onto a grid. I like that aspect of this game. I like the fact that everyone has a different element or a hidden element and you're trying to figure out or deduce what everyone has. I like that bluffing element of this game, but that is this game's only redeeming quality besides the quality of the components. Other than that, like I, I would not touch this game again at all, ever. I'm I, sorry. I don't like bluffing games and I don't like stacking games, but even put like putting that aside, I just I really didn't like this game. It it needed um it just needed something a little bit more. And I can see that they're going for something simple, super simple and super casual and super quick. But I don't know, it just didn't work for me. It really didn't. Me neither, sorry. I mean I, again I play a lot of games, but this one this is this is not a game I would touch again at this, all. This is frustrating. More. Yeah. I, I, I could not get through four games of this. The, the one game that we played off camera and the one game that we played, if you can call it a game. I mean, we were just stacking and stealing. Like, maybe we were missing some strategies. Maybe we missed the whole idea behind this game. But if you're going to advertise your game as easy to learn, then Come people... Come up with then more pe examples. People more. need to... Then, then the strategy should be also somewhat easy to grasp. Yeah. And to, in here, it's just not. I it needs pictures. <laughs> yeah, there should have been there should have been pictures with each example. Um, or if you're going to make a how-to-play video, make a proper one. Mm -hmm. Give it more oomph than a two-minute overview. You know, explain, explain each steal action and how it would look in multiple examples. Yeah, like a do and a don't, too. Like, right. you know, what's... That this is wrong, but this is right. FAQ you know? section. You know, what happens if you have this situation or this situation? What do you do then? Without those things in there, this game is not easy to learn as the game advertises. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, but this is a no-go for me. I would use these tokens in, an, in like, other games. In a different game? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, again, the art is nice. I like the quality. I like the quality. The quality is great. But other than that, the game is just not there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, that was Master the Elements. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Idley. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Hi, guys.